We've been burning whatever was at hand for a long, long time. As we see repeatedly with energy, you can burn too much of a good thing. And there are patterns in human use of energy. And if we're stupid enough to repeat them, burn all the fossil fuel remaining on the planet and put the CO2 into the air, we will cook our future. Take what we did to trees in North America, for example. When the first settlers arrived on America's east coast, the forests were so thick you could barely see the sky. That soon changed, and the forests almost completely disappeared as more and more trees were cut down to meet the heating, cooking, and building needs of a growing population. Making iron needed lots of furnaces, and the furnaces ran on charcoal made from trees. You can trace that history in telltale place names from my home state of Pennsylvania. So, farewell virgin forests, hello Pennsylvania Furnace, Lucy Furnace, Harmony Forge, and Valley Forge of Revolutionary War fame. Large areas of forest were soon depleted, and charcoal making and iron production moved on to repeat the process elsewhere. Peak wood, meaning the time of maximum production, came as early as the first decades of the 19th century, or even before that, for some parts of the East Coast. The pattern of using up an energy resource until it was nearly gone was repeated at sea. As America's population grew, so did their need for a better way to light the night. So whaling crews went to sea on the hunt for the very best source of illumination. Stand up and give it to him. Whale oil. At first, large numbers of whales were found nearby. They could just be towed to shore. But by the 1870s, we'd burned so many whales to light our evenings that all the easy whales were gone. Whale oil prices roughly doubled. Now ships had to travel close to the poles in search of bowhead whales. Their oil wasn't as good, and conditions were really dangerous. In 1871, up in the Arctic, 33 ships were trapped in the ice and crushed. Just as happened with America's forests, we'd exploited the most easily accessible resources and hadn't stopped until we'd almost used them up. 